Hello, today I will be demonstrating how to install a Linux distribution in a Windows 8 virtual machine. Linux is a powerful open source operating system that currently runs many of the world's most powerful servers and computers. It is developer friendly, can be very individualistic and customizable, and free, as in free from third party proprietary software. All of the source code and applications are able to be viewed, modified, and shared as you, the user, sees fit. You have complete control and ownership over the operating system. With that in mind, let's get started. First, you'll need to open the latest version of Oracle VMware's VirtualBox and have the download of the latest version of Fedora 19 KDE. In the top left corner of Oracle, there'll be a new button. Click that. In the name text box, you'll want to enter the name that you want to give to your virtual machine. The type should, be, should remain Linux, and the version should reflect if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Fedora. After you've chosen the name, type, and version, click the next button. Now you'll want to allocate how much RAM you want to give to the virtual machine. The recommended amount is 1 gigabyte. But I like to give 2 gigabytes because it helps it be a little speedier and a little more stable. Once you've chosen how much RAM, click Next. Now we need to create the virtual hard drive that our virtual version of Fedora will live on. Click Create a Virtual Hard Drive Now, and then click the Create button. For the hard drive file type, leave it on VDI Virtual Box Disk Image, and then click the Next button. For our storage on our physical hard drive, you want to change it to fixed size instead of dynamically allocated. You can change it after the installation, but fixed size helps keep it a little more stable. Click the next button. Now we choose how much physical hard drive space to allocate to the virtual hard drive. The recommended minimum is 10 gigabytes, but you can allocate as much as you would like to put in. I like to put a little bit more just to be on the safe side. After you've chosen how much hard drive space to allocate, click the Create button. This will write your virtual hard drive to your physical hard drive. The process can take a couple minutes, so please be patient. Once that process has completed, you'll be ready to install Fedora onto your virtual hard drive. Click the virtual machine you just created, and then click the Start button. Next, click the drop-down menu, and choose the Fedora file that you downloaded. Then click the Start button. So what's happening right now is you are currently booting into a preview version of Fedora 19 KDE. This preview version allows you to explore the Fedora desktop and sort of get familiar with the Linux environment without installing it to the hard drive. Booting into this demo version does not install it to the hard drive. We'll be doing that in our next step. But this does allow you to explore Fedora and play around with it, but not actually have to commit to installing it. Welcome to the virtual world of Fedora 19 KDE. Since this is still the preview version, feel free to explore, experiment, and muck around, and all you have to do is close the machine with no harm being done. However, when you are ready to install it to your virtual hard drive, click Install to Hard Drive. Choose the language that you want to install, and click the checkbox next to Set Keyboard to Default Layout for Selected Language. Once you have this set, click Continue. Since everything else is automatically set for us, all we have to do is specify the storage. Click the installation destination and make sure that it is ATA VBox hard disk with a checkbox next to it. Click Done when you're sure. Another window will come up, verifying that you have enough free space to install it. Leave the default settings, and then click Continue.
Now that everything is set, we are ready to begin the installation. While it's being written to your virtual hard drive, you'll be able to set your root password and user profile. Click on root password. This controls all of the administrative privileges and generally everything that protects Linux, so make sure that it is a password that you will definitely remember. Once you've set your password, click the done button. Next up is creating your user profile, so click on user creation. To create your user profile, you have to fill in your name, username, and password. The name does not support any spaces, and the username is generated based off of your full name, but you can change that to anything you'd like. If this is an administrator account, make sure you check the box next to make this user an administrator. The password should also be different from your root password. Once you have chosen a name, username, and password, click the done button. Now that you've set your root password and your user profile, there's nothing left but to wait until the installation is finished. This process can take 10 to 20 minutes, so you'll have to be patient. When the installer is finished, it will notify you in the bottom left hand corner. We're now ready to go on to the final step. Click the quit button in the bottom right hand of the installer. In order to get rid of the install to hard drive application and go into the final version, reboot the machine by going to machine, close, power off the machine, and OK. Now you'll be booting into the final installed version of Fedora. Make a new entry in VirtualBox Manager by clicking New, and then adding in a new name for your virtual machine. Make sure that the type is Linux again, and that you specify which version of Fedora. Once you've chosen those, click the Next button. Again, choose the memory size and make it the same as what you did before. Then click the Next button. Here, instead of create a virtual hard drive now, you'll want to click use an existing virtual hard drive file. Once you've clicked that, open the drop down menu and click the version that you just created. Then click the create button. Now you've created your final version entry. Click that and then click the start button. Don't worry if it seems stuck at a certain point. It is working through the operations and will be a smoother the next time that you log in. Once you've made it to this screen, log in with your username and your password and you'll be able to explore around your new virtual version of Fedora 19 KDE. Finally, welcome to your new virtual version of Fedora 19 KDE. The difference between this installed version and the preview version you saw before is that any changes or modifications you make to any files or the operating system will be saved the next time that you log in. Of course, you can delete this virtual machine at any time and reinstall it. To exit, click Machine, Close, Power Off, and OK. The state is automatically saved. And when you want to log back in, click the second entry you created. Thanks for watching.